Hey everyone, good to see everyone again. It's been a little while, sorry about that. Um, but today I wanted to talk about something, uh, we wanted to talk about something for a while now uh, called wry neck. And uh, it's not that common and it can throw you off. So we want to talk about wry neck today and I think this could be helpful to people. Just like, uh, just like uh, people, uh, chickens can get sick sometimes. And this is Clara. Clara's a barred rock that's a good friend gave to me uh, last year and last fall. Uh, I was really, really puzzled and concerned. I really thought her neck was broken, but she had what, upon trying to figure things out, uh, we discovered she had wry neck. And so we're gonna talk about how we dealt with that and how we have now a nice, perfectly healthy barred rock uh, that we were really, really worried was at death's door. Uh, and uh, so we're not vets or anything. We had other people talk to us, we researched and uh, we did some home care and brought her back. Uh, you may probably, if ever something happens with your animals, for sure consult a vet. We're not vets, but we do want to share uh, things that you can do on the farm to uh, help yourself and help your animals on your own. Uh, so uh, anyway, we're going to talk about Rynek and Clara and how she came back to a nice healthy bird. Uh, and we were able to do uh, home treatment with her. So we first noticed Clara wasn't feeling well when we saw her dragging her head to the ground. And after some research and discussion with our local poultry group, it became obvious Clara was dealing with wry neck, a muscle weakness in the neck caused by a vitamin E deficiency. Some people told us to give up on her, and sometimes that's a decision you have to make on the farm. But we knew we had to give Clara our best shot, and she was special to me as she was a gift from a friend. Here are the steps we took. First, we isolated her from the coop and put her in her own cage so she could rest and not be harassed or bothered by the other birds, and we could monitor her properly. It was difficult for Clara to eat due to the weakness she had. She could barely lift her head. We helped her get fluids by syringe and feeding the, her water. And as she got stronger, we could lift the water to her mouth and help her drink on her own. Then we went to the pharmacy and picked up some vitamin E. We also picked up selenium, since this is what helps the body absorb the vitamin E. We crushed and mixed the two together into water and syringe and fed Clara twice a day. Within 24 hours, she perked right up. We continued the treatment for a week and a half just to be sure. Throughout the next days, we started some mild physiotherapy, bringing Clara outside and slowly exercising her neck. We also provided lots of neck rubs and pets. Clara has been doing great ever since. To, to help keep the flock high in vitamin E, we now like to enrich them with sunflower, sunflower seeds, which the birds really love. So this is how we got Clara back on track. Hey girl. This was about, I'd say, six months ago. How's it going? And as you can see, she's feeling great. Thanks, everybody.